Hey guys, today I'm going to do a little unboxing um, of this bear carving kit that I won as part of a giveaway on Instagram. Um, I have already opened this up just to look at it, um, so this is not an initial unboxing. Um, it comes with a how-to guide. Obviously it was put together a lot better than what it is right now. Um, I just kind of threw everything back inside. Um, it comes with two um, basswood blocks or two by two by four. Yeah, two by two by four. Um, I've used their wood before and it was pretty good. It was, you know, on par with most of the wood you're going to get off of Amazon. Um, so, you know, it's not bad. It's pretty good wood. Easy to carve, soft enough. It definitely does a job. Um, there's just like protective tape that you can like wrap around your thumb or whatever. Um, I don't use this, I use a carving glove. I think it's a little more comfortable, but some people like to use this because they don't want to have a whole glove on or they'll reinforce their thumb or they'll put a little bit on their thumb, you know, on their carving hand. But, you know, that's just kind of personal preference for what you like to do. Um, it is a bare carving kit, so they include this template. So you can, you know, put that onto the wood. You could, you know, glue it on or use a band saw to carve out or, you know, scroll saw or something like that to cut out all this extra stuff, um, the excess wood. So it's nice that they give you a little template. Uh, they give you some band-aids, which is kind of a funny thing to do. Uh, there's some sandpaper in here. I'm assuming that's just to smooth out the piece if you want to do that. There's a stropping compound. I'm not sure what type of like grid it is, um, but it's probably comparable to like flex cuts, gold, or something like that. This is kind of cool. It's a little thin piece of leather. It's a strop. You just throw it down on any flat surface and you'll be able to strop your knife. I like this because um, you can just, you know, throw this anywhere. I mean, it's small, it's thin, it's light. You can just throw it in your backpack or keep it in your car. So I do like that. It's pretty cool. Um, there's a pencil. And then you have this like skew knife um, i think they call it a pro detail knife i'm not sure yeah i think they call it a pro detail knife but it's like a i don't know a skew it's got a curved blade um, it's got a palm handle i find it to be a little strange i don't know it's it's like a knife but it's not I don't know. I'll have to give this a shot and just try it out for a while and see if I end up liking it. So generally palm tools are made to where it sits in your hand and you can actually push, um, which maybe you do some of that with this type of knife um, with that curved edge. I can see maybe, you know, using it to get into like the cheek area on a face next to the nose or something like that. Um, but I think I would have rather just had a regular like handle, just like a like a knife handle maybe. I don't know. I'm not really sure what to think about this. I've never used a tool like this before. Um, so that's going to be, it's a little strange. It's different. The handle is ash and oiled like all their tools. Um, so I like that. Just not sure if I like the palm tool aspect of it, but it's a little strange because I feel like I'm going to do more cutting with this than pushing, and I would rather have like a, a knife handle or a, I don't know, something like a, here, like a file intermediate handle, something like that. I think that would work better, or maybe even something shorter, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think about this. It'll be interesting to try it out. Um, let's throw a carbon glove on and test the sharpness of it. So 
I'll just use this piece since they sent it to me and just take a little bit of the edge off. Um, so it's sharp. And it's a nice polished edge. I mean, it's, I don't know, it's a little weird to use, but Yeah, I mean, it's very sharp, so I don't know. I don't know what to think about this yet. Yeah, I feel like I keep trying to, like, you know, reach up or choke up on the neck of this thing, and that's just a recipe for me to end up going into that thing. I don't know. I don't like my tools being that far away from my hand. I feel like I have less control when it's way out here like this. Um, so it's an interesting choice to put this in a kit for carving a bear. I think just a regular knife would probably work better for this kit, but you could definitely carve a bear with this. I mean, it might just take some getting used to. I don't know. This will be one of those things that I'll probably develop a different opinion about it as time goes on, but it's a little weird. Yeah, uh, it's interesting. That curved blade, you know, like a sloyd knife or whatever, um, that's kind of nice. I mean, it makes it easy to do this kind of like slicing cuts. And I would imagine since they call it a pro detail knife, I would imagine the reason why they do that is that this would be good at getting into those like kind of hard to reach spots. Um, if you're going to carve it like they do, I don't know. You could use this to scoop out those spaces along the nose. I don't know. I mean, you can do that with a knife, too. I don't know. I'm not really sure what to think about this. It's interesting. And given that these, like, kind of how-to carving kits are geared more to, like, the beginner or, like, maybe somebody that, you know, hasn't carved yet and they're kind of thinking about you know getting into it but they don't know how to start or whatever um i think this is an interesting choice because i think a knife just a regular like rough out knife would be a better choice for that beginner carver so can't say i love the choice of it i, I think a rough out knife would be better but you could definitely carve with it and you could get the job done so hmm. yeah I think a I think a rough out knife would be better for this kit um, but that's maybe they're just trying to give it variety you know so if you pick up this kit maybe they have another kit that I know their um, comfort bird kit comes with a knife so maybe they're just trying to give different tools for different kits that way if you are getting into it and you just want to grab some how-to kits and get some wood and maybe pick up a new tool so maybe that's their reasoning behind that i don't know and this might grow on me i will have to give it a shot i'll try to carve one of these bears up and we'll see if i end up liking it more it does have that flat edge to where it doesn't roll around on you, but the shape of the blade is really going to keep that from happening as well. So um, it's always nice to have that flat, you know, spot on the handle. It seems like a decent kit. I mean, you get some it's fine wood, carved easy. It was not hard to do. You get a cool strop. I think this is the thing I like the most about it. Um, it's just that different strop, you know. You can have something like this, and this is a flex cut strop I have, but it's 
that's big. And then I've got another one that's, you know, a little bit smaller. It's probably about this size, but it's thick and hard. You know, the only thing with this is that you need a flat surface to put it on, but you can usually find one of those. So it's kind of a neat little thing. But initial impressions, I do think a rough out knife would have been a better choice. But that's just my opinion. So um, if you like this video, you know, like it, comment, subscribe, and I will bring some more stuff to you. All right. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.